we're advising our private equity clients, we talk about thinking about cybersecurity across the entire investment life cycle. So not only is it important to include strong cybersecurity diligence in the pre-close process, but you need to think about cybersecurity programs once you own a portfolio company. That should be really thought about across the entire portfolio so that you understand where your weaknesses are, what portfolio companies have greater risks than others. That should be mapped against each other so that you can think about allocating investment dollars to the highest ROI areas for cybersecurity. But it doesn't really stop there. Not only do you need to think about this once you own the company on an annual basis, you also have to think about it before you exit. Is the company ready for the next step? Do they have the appropriate personnel? Do they have sophistication and controls across the organization? If you think about it that way and you're always organized in your approach to cybersecurity, you address it on an annual basis, ultimately you're going to see a significant increase in the value that you get for that organization at exit. Other things portfolio companies need to think about when assessing their own organization, are they using the right frameworks? What's the appropriate combination of frameworks that they should be using to map their organization against and continue to build upon as they increase maturity and reduce cyber risk across the company? Cybersecurity and data privacy are also important to think about together. Given the regulations that we're seeing, for example, in the EU, but also regulations coming out of the United States, data privacy and cybersecurity are really blending together and there's not a lot of daylight between the two. As a result, portfolio companies really need to think about whether or not they're in alignment with those regulatory requirements. Often when we see portfolio companies or private equity firms that are impacted by a cyber incident, one of the things that surprises them is that they're not as prepared as they thought they were. Do you have strong external counsel that has expertise in cyber and data privacy that can help in the case of an incident? Do you know who to call to be that first responder to do the forensic incident response work, identify what the root cause is? Do you have a crisis communications firm that does and specializes in cyber crisis communication that can help manage the internal and the external message? All of those things are critical to have in place, not only for each portfolio company, but across the portfolio broadly.